they say this is a big rich town I just come from the poet's part Bright light city life I get So, Power Season 5 Episode 4 uh, Never ever I watch a show that is um, Now I've watched a couple of shows It's nothing like Game of Thrones But this show gets in my nerves so much Some of the decisions these, these characters makes Some of the things that happen And I love how they do a show You know it makes you fr shows like that that makes you frustrated with the character their decision and what they do that's great stuff right there so let's start off uh where do i start let me look at my notes real quick so uh as far as the show's going tommy his dad is out and T tony teresa is out and he, you know he's somewhat suspicious of his dad not too sure if his dad is a snitch or not but every when T um keenan tells uh Ghost that Tommy's dad's out, you know, it becomes suspicious. Come on, the guy was supposed to be in there for life, but somehow he got out. And you have Mac and Sax who are basically working behind the scene to using Tommy's dad to get Tommy arrested. And throughout this whole process, it's like everything, everybody that's after the ghost, Angela, Tommy. Could, that could be after them is after them. You got um, Sax, Mac. Um, you got the internal, internal, uh, internal after Angela. Then you have big government that comes. Math, math. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna jump into that later. But uh, Angela ends up arresting the Germanas. But now you got the government getting involved. Talking about you know they need them to be. Uh, basically, they need them to stay as cartel because I guess they're that big that. Their influences help the government out somehow, and so above Angela's break, which I, I kind of I wanted to feel bad for Angela when that happened, but I don't like her. Like my hate, it's not as my hate for Angela is not as high as to my hate for Tariq. But I didn't really feel that bad when they took the case away from me. Yeah, she got played, but alas, you know it's the game. Then you have uh, Tasha, who's. Fuck with that dude Dixon. Fuck that low down sneaky bastard. He looked like a sneaky dude, you know. Um, you know, trying making Angela leave. Um, once again, leave Ghost because he feels like Ghost is gonna lose everything. Cause you know Proctor's Proctor's gonna have a trial. He's probably gonna lose his license or get go to jail for it. Um, but. Tasha, at one point of the show, Tasha has a talk with Ghost, you know, when she's leaving Ghost. I'm, I'm jumping my story all over, all over the place, but if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. But Tasha, yes, I understand Ghost. Um, he left you for Angela. But if you watch the show, remember when Ghost wanted out of that life, who was the one who was trying to keep him in the life? Tasha. I'm wrong is wrong, cheating is wrong, and all that. But she pushed them hope away when she, when Ghost wanted to do something, she kept going around trying to make sure Ghost stays in the life. And I blame Tasha. All right, that and remember she was still fucking um, Kenan's kid too about that, and she thought Ghost killed him. Um, but her whole speech about how she wanted out of the life now blah blah all that i didn't once again i didn't feel bad you know i i, I didn't really want to take her side you know because now you pushing him more towards doing something really stupid which he did at the end of the episode now i don't think i'm i'm pretty sure, i'm sure it was gonna happen once she did that i'm sh I, sh I was Positive. I wasn't surprised, but I was positive that he was gonna go back to Angela. And it, and once that shit happened to Angela with that guy, I'm, I was positive. It was like all these events was happening for those two to come back together. Hopefully, she tells him that um, Sax and Mac are working to get Tommy, and somehow they will turn the table. But the creme de la creme, the the thing that got to me was Tate. That dude, man, I hope he catch a bullet soon. Him and Dre, I hope they catch it. But Tate, I can't see. He's becoming on that level where I don't... Um, Tariq's level, you know. Tariq's the top shelf. Hate and Tate is getting up there. Tate, there's Tariq, 
Angela Dre Tate Dixon. You know, the shells. Um, but he brings in Dre into the foundation for uh, uh what's it called? Reina's for Reina's a memorial building and all that. He brings in Dre. And when Ghost walked into that building, if you pay attention, that look he gave Tate, you know, it's that same look every time he kills somebody. I, I'm pretty sure he's going to get back tenfold. He's going to get Tate back tenfold. And I'm pretty sure he's going to use that to get Dre. Um, but now the Jimenez is free. Um, you find out that the sister is actually trying to get rid of the brother. It's, it's a lot of uh, backstabbing going on in this show. Keenan. Uh, he's trying to get t rid of Tommy so he could get and good in with the Italian. Um, but it's all over the place. But it's still a good show. Um, it's still to watch. This episode wasn't. It wasn't crazy, crazy. Like as far as the episode, it wasn't that crazy, crazy. But the stuff that was, the little stuff that was happening um, bit by bit made it interesting. You know, uh, as far as uh, Keenan's plot to get rid of Tommy, um, Dre. Aligning himself with Tate now. Um, that you find out about the Jimenez, like the sisters trying to get rid of the brother now. Also, the government don't want them to be arrested. Um, and Angela's back with ghosts, which is I don't know if they're back because they didn't really show nothing. But Angela, <sighs> my thing with Angela and ghosts, is like it's like a toxic relationship, you know. It's if you know. That was the catalyst that kind of brought the end to your. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say it's a catalyst because I keep saying it's a catalyst, but it's a catalyst that brought you a lot of your problems. You should stay away from that. Even Proctor said stay away from trouble, but he doesn't listen. Hopefully, somehow him talking to Angela helped because fucking Tasha's fucking Dixon, and I'm I'm sorry for my cursing, but that's what's happening. Um, but this show in a whole is. Getting it's getting to the point like where they a lot of event is about to happen, you know. It's like it's like at the slowing point that like, things are building up, you know, because a lot of activities are happening around. But I'm I feel like once stint, certain things start revealing themselves, it's just gonna pop, you know. And I I I want ghosts to win at the end because a lot of the people around him. I don't like. I want him to win at the end. It, it, even though his character does a lot of stupid things, but at the end of the day, I want to. You know, Tasha, who which was his ride or die, but now she is moving to this new Dixon guy. Yes, I understand when he was in jail, she still supported him, even though he was fucking with Tasha. But you gotta remember, he was trying to get out of life, and she did her thing to make sure she didn't want him to get out of life. You know, that kind of pushed him away at season the last few seasons um but tommy i like tommy's character but he's not paying attention you know this guy he's he, it's like right in front of his face but he doesn't see he doesn't it's like he doesn't want to see it um and dre i just want dre to get his already uh i'm glad i didn't see no Tariq this episode i don't like that guy you know um uh, than that it was a great episode uh wasn't crazy a lot of few twists in there, but it wasn't that crazy. And Keenan doing what he doing with the Italian. <sighs> Fuck. Fucking power. But guys, if you watch Power, uh let me know what you think about this episode. Uh did you like it? Did you didn't like uh, then you didn't like it because it was in that crazy, but I thought it was a good episode. Um yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I will be getting back at you with more reviews and reactions. Thank you.